So, welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm. Today, um, we are going to confront Damon, if you don't remember from the last episode. Um, it's pretty crazy. We actually had a little chat with our dead dad in the last episode. We actually got Elliot arrested, um, potentially. No, that, that, no there, there was no way he couldn't have gotten arrested. That dude definitely got arrested. And now we're going to see what happens with Damon, because... Even though I don't really like this game, I'm still curious to find out how they end the game. Because it's a prequel. And nothing matters. Yeah. If Don't Nod, Square Enix, if they make another game, a Life is Strange game, and it's not a sequel, I don't think I'll play it. I honestly don't. I know that sounds kind of stubborn or rude or something i don't know there's a lot of people that didn't play this because the whole voice acting strike voice actor strike and it's not the original voice actor for chloe and i don't know i, I didn't read too much into it um but like i won't play if there's another prequel or spin-off series Shit. like oh what happened is that blood chloe's mom after the hurricane or whatever i don't even remember how i ended the game because i played both of them so often I played both endings multiple times. Frank? Frank! is bad. I'll get you help, Frank. But first, I've got to help Rachel's mom. Sarah. No. I don't know, man. There we go. I guess he's right there. Everything's going to be just fine. Just a little longer, and all your troubles are going bye bye. just want to Whoa. meet my daughter. Can't you understand why does Your he- Your daughter? <laughs> Jesus. So that's what he's worried about. Can't let the public know. The mother of his daughter is some junkie. I just want to see her. You don't have to- Shut up. James Amber wants you out of the picture. So that's Dude. what's going to happen. This is so messed up. What? After all, no one believes a junkie. No. He said you've been sober a year. Respect. It's hard to kick this shit. That's the you whole point can of the drug. This. Damon. What the hell are you doing here? I've got your money right here. The money James owes you. How the fuck do you- Run! No one has to know. Just, <laughs> just let her go, and I won't say- <sighs> No! Talking. Dang! Over. Leave her alone! Shut up. What the fuck? You boosted the DA's shit? Got my money? Burned the evidence? All that? I'm just trying to help. Get away from her. I said shut the fuck up. No. 
Go to your fucking happy place. Run. Let this be a lesson, kid. Make good life choices, or you'll end up like her. Now, what do I do with- Damon! What did you do? Ho 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 I fucked you up good, didn't I? Guess you really don't know when to quit. Glad to see you back on your feet. Chloe. Frank. You don't really want to do this again, do you? Okay. Then I don't want to do this again. Come on, man. Fuck you. Sarah. Dang! <laughs> he kicked your head like a soccer ball. God dang! Is this a dream? I, I saw you in the play. You were funny. Thanks. Sit. Is this our dream Sarah, world? Is this what's happening now? Or are you okay? Wait, what's we need to talk going about on? what happened. This a whole new thing. I am so. So sorry for Rachel. Can never know. What exactly can't Rachel know? What James did. Hiring that thug. Shooting me up with. <sighs> He's a piece of shit. And I promise that Rachel can never know. That's Why? bullshit, Sarah. You're not listening. Rachel deserves to know what happened to you. No, she doesn't. Rachel deserves a loving father. A father who cares for her. James is a liar. James who... is a desperate man who loves his daughter. And she loves him. Tell her what happened here. And you'll take that away from her. Forever. Don't you think the truth matters more? The truth? What's so great about the truth? I think it Chloe? does. I think it does. Why are you saying all this? Because James is right. He's taken something from me that I might not ever get back. But he's right. I'm broken. Everybody's broken, Sarah. Oh? Does everybody abandon their own child for 15 years? Does everybody take money to God stay away? Dang. You're here now. God dang That's God dang. what matters. And what do you know? I know Rachel needs you. I know loss. I lost my father two years ago. How? Car accident. He was, he was picking up my mother from the grocery store and a truck ran a red light and that was it. I'm sorry. You don't know what this is to me. Every pain. Every fear. 
gone. No more sadness. No more grief. Why would anyone not want to feel that way? Ever. I heard what Damon said. You've been sober for a year. You beat this before. You can beat it again. No. I can't. I... I recognize I might not know what the fuck I'm talking about here, but I just... I wish you could know how amazing Rachel is. I know. She's fearless. She's brilliant and talented. And she feels so much. She's so strong. She's had a good life. Raised in a loving home. Given opportunities I could never give her. At least talk to her. She's felt like something's been missing her whole life. She told me so. Is it just me or does it feel like this conversation is dragging was out? you. She didn't miss anything. She has a perfect family. Even without all this shit, the Ambers are far from perfect. James oh is an elitist asshole and... And Rose lets him walk all over her. Maybe. What Rachel needs, though, is not to have her father taken away from her. <laughs> he doesn't it's deserve- It's not about James. It's not about me, and it's not about you. It's about Rachel. Tell her what James did, and you'll be killing him for her. You understand that, don't you? You lost your father. Do you really want to put Rachel through that? Don't you want to see her? You came oh here God. for it. You got sober. You deserve the chance to know your daughter. Nothing can change the mistakes I made. I'll never get to be Rachel's mother. Not really. But there's one thing I can still do for her. The only thing I can do. Let me give her the father she deserves. The one who raised her. Protected her. No, that's her. so stupid. The one who loves her more than anything. You can do whatever you want, Chloe. I'm telling you her, she dies die. in the next game anyways. What you have to decide is whether you're going to protect Rachel or cause her even more hurt. So please... Tell her I was never here. Let her have what peace she can. Without me. Wait! Don't go, Sarah. I'm done here. Goodbye, Chloe. Worth the shot. That conversation took 14 minutes. Just in case you were wondering. Look at that, they got the star thing that we made. Hello? Hi, Chloe. Rachel's just fallen asleep. Clearly. 
can do the bad I know thing, she'll man. be thrilled to I, see I you when she now. wakes up. I know everything. Maybe come back a little later. Hey. Go back to sleep, kiddo. You need your rest. Can I talk to Chloe? Alone? For a minute? Okay, sweetie. We'll be right outside. Okay, this is where the decision making happens. How are you happens. feeling? Do I tell Rachel? Like I got stabbed. Dad's a scumbag. <laughs> Do I keep it to myself? Doc says there'll be a sick scar. Maybe a tattoo is in order. Fuck yeah. We never actually escaped, did we? We've got time. All the time in the world. So yeah, you got about until the other how game. How did everything go? Did die? Rachel, I've got to tell you something. I'm telling her. Oh, do I not have a choice? They're giving me a choice, right? Tell Rachel everything, protect Rachel from the truth. I'm telling her everything, I don't care. I'm making that decision right now. Boom, not even thinking about it, just. My hands are kind of sweaty, hold up. Just, okay, do whatever, it's not happening. Look at that, oh, there's supposed to be music here. <sighs> yep, and then they're gonna come on in. Oh my god, it is going down in that hospital room. I know, I know. Probably not the best. If I knew, this, see, see, this is why this is why I hate prequels. I made the decision because I knew that she will die in the future. No matter what happens, they cannot rewrite rewrite the first game. That is what happens in the future. This is a prequel. Everything in the past, nothing matters. And got the big knife now. Look, little Pompadou. Oh, there it is. Oh, she was really dragged into that one, wasn't she? Did he get expelled? Yo, he did! He got expelled! Oh my gosh, she really did that to him. <laughs> He's over here playing D&D. &D.
Come on, Ben. Hello? Hey! Por qué? Uh, no, no más dame un momento. Estoy haciendo un video. Un momento. Ahora mismo voy a terminar. So I'm assuming this is the end of the game. It's kind of a stupid ending. I don't like it. But to be fair, I didn't really like this game that much, no did I? No, I didn't. I did not. It kind of sucked. I hate it. I hate prequels. Prequels don't make any sense to me. Now what? Now what? Cuz like, oh, full blue. Full blue, right? Oh, and the pink, right, right. I forgot about that. Is it going to show everything to the point where she dies? Okay, they got tats together. I didn't know Rachel got a tat, but whatever. I guess they can kind of do whatever they want with that one. I wonder how long it takes from this game to get to the next game because we see the hair, we see the junkyard, but in the future game there is no evidence or anything of a um a fire. So we don't know. Alright, time to see. You told Rachel the truth. Forty eight percent, really? I mean it's pretty close, but like I'm actually surprised that it wasn't like a more different, like, a bigger difference. Okay, well, let's see what's next. All right. Kill the plant with neglect. Well, we didn't really... We weren't really thinking about it. You killed the plant with soda. Okay, so there was no way to... To really survive. <laughs> you accepted David's photograph. 91% did. That's actually interesting. I wasn't expecting for everyone to do that. You didn't have Drew's money at the start of the day. Huh? 66%. You gave Drew's money to Damon. I don't remember that. Um, you visited the Norths at the hospital, 82%. Of course I would. Why Why wouldn't you? You didn't visit the North. 1% of people did that. And you played tabletop with Mikey. 0% of people did that. I didn't even know it was an option. And I guess nobody else did. If it's 0% of people actually did that. That's ridiculous. Um, you sparred with Drew over pudding. I don't even... How would you get all these options? You didn't donate to the to the firefighters fund. Ninety six percent of people. Um. First of all, we weren't even thinking about all that stuff. You convinced Damon that Sheldon was the snitch, and Rachel didn't meet her mother. Rachel met. What? There was a op there was a way to get her to actually meet. Anyway, so yeah, those were the. I didn't even know that you could get her to meet her mother. Good old happy ending until they die. 
till Rachel dies. I told you, I told you, I told you it would end with the teacher. This is definitely the, the, the dark room, bro. I'm telling you, those... I told you, this is what happened. This is what happened. I told you, I told you it was going to end that way. I caught it in the beginning of the episode. Look at it. That was the dark room. You saw the red notebook that was iconic to him. And you saw the flashes in the back of the pictures being taken of her. And that was her phone because Chloe's trying to get a hold of her. Holy crap. I know it was like not that big of a thing. And they really show us that much. But I, bro, it all happened. So like, I guess that was a relative like closeness to the second game. So the question is, where's all the evidence of the fire that happened in this game, in the first game? All right, well, finally, we have finished this game. Thank you all for joining me on this. Um, if you enjoyed, please leave a like. Make sure to subscribe. Um, hopefully, they make another game that's a sequel. Uh, they don't. I'm not playing it sad to say but yeah i'll see you guys in the next one bye